I love dessert, and there is no better dessert than a crepe cake from Lady M Cake Boutique. The flavors of cakes are so unique. Whether it's matcha flavored or just chocolate, I know the crepe cakes will hit the spot, which is why I decided to make a Lady M inspired crepe cake at home. So what we have here is the crepe batter. And a crepe batter is very similar to a pancake batter. It just has a lot more eggs in it. And this is a big batch. This is a batch that is big enough to make about 25 crepes. I put one ladle full in and then tilt the pan, coating the whole bottom of it. The first couple of these crepes are gonna look kind of rough because that's just what it is. Anyone who's made pancakes knows this. So do not lose heart if the first one doesn't look completely right. I have two little tools here. I have my metal spatula and a tiny little rubber spatula. So I use the tiny rubber spatula just to kind of lift them up so that this guy can slide underneath without breaking any edges. The first time I saw a crepe cake was actually on Pinterest and I thought it just was so cool. I actually thought that it was a normal cake where someone had really thinly sliced the layers and I thought, oh my gosh, that sounds so intimidating and challenging. But when I realized it was a crepe cake, I thought, oh my gosh, that's super doable. Today's flavor is going to be caramel apple, which I love. I think it's such a classic. But the cool thing about a crepe cake is you can actually kind of do any flavor combination you like. Our crepes are finished, they fully cooled, so it's time to put everything together. Making the apple puree could not be simpler. It's just roasted apples, pureed with a little bit of lemon juice, cinnamon, and sugar. Blend it all together and you have a perfect apple puree. We have our salted caramel sauce, and this is super simple as well, just caramelized sugar with a little bit of cream and butter added, and then of course, a healthy pinch of salt. I'm just gonna take this first crepe, add a layer of stuff, and then add another crepe, more stuff, and just basically keep going until I feel like it's high enough. All right, so I'm gonna first put a nice pile of the apple on top. You just push everything to the outer edges just so it peeks through. I'm gonna move on to my next layer, a tiny amount of the salted caramel because I actually wanna save quite a bit of this to drizzle on top. Just gonna sort of smooth this around another crepe. And then I'll do a few tablespoons of mascarpone cheese. And then I just repeat this whole process, basically however high I want it to go. Gorgeous. Okay, I wanted to show you guys something. So you can see on this side, it looks fine, but it's sort of missing some pizzazz. So if you look over here, what? <laughs> you can see that by pushing all the ingredients to the edges, it's a sneak peek for people looking at the cake to know what flavors are in it. So the last final touch is adding the salted caramel on top. I'm so excited about this. And I'm actually gonna go out and create on purpose little rivers. I don't want a swimming pool of caramel on top. So I just have this amount here and I'm just gonna spread it out. Then I'm gonna finish it with some sea salt. Look at those layers, that is amazing. Mm. Sorry, I just did a little crepe dance, but you got to, it's so good.